You're watching Better Business Bureau's Business at Its Best, brought to you by Ataraxis. You've got employees, we've got solutions, human resources, insurance, benefits, and payroll. Our business is your business. BBB's Business at Its Best. If you're like nearly every person in the United States who is shopping, you go to the internet to research a product, a service, or a company, but just a little over half of businesses in the U.S. actually have a web presence. You're looking, but they can't be found. Welcome to Business at Its Best. I'm Dale Dixon with Better Business Bureau. For the next 30 minutes, we show you why trustworthy companies need to be online, and we're going to show you how to do it right. On the show, we make a case to join the other half of companies who do have an online presence, what it means for your sales, and keeping those customers coming back for more. If you think a website is too technical, requires too much time, or won't get you results, we're going to help you overcome the fear factor and online security is always top of mind to us at Better Business Bureau. We're going to show you what to watch for to keep your site and information safe. A big thank you to the TV stations in Idaho making this show possible each week. We're airing on KTVB's very own 24-7 in Twin Falls and Boise and Local News 8's Now Channel in East Idaho. Well, there is a wealth of expertise on the Northwest Nazarene University campus and the business school. And each week we bring that knowledge to the business, uh, to your business at its best table. And tonight, Dr. Ron Galloway is the Associate Dean in the Office of Academic Affairs, also a professor of leadership at NNU. Thanks so much for joining us. And let's start off by talking about some of the information that a business can find as it is online searching. They really give it a competitive advantage. Right, well, it, it doesn't take, um much time at all to begin to realize that there's so much out there that you really don't even know how to get to it all. Um, but there is such a thing as data mining that's out there. And uh, you can hire companies to do this for you or sometimes you just go on by yourself and start looking over the various uh, websites that are out there and start looking for f different ideas and things that will help you in your own business. A lot of this, and you mentioned at first, it's hard to know where to go, and that can be something that keeps people from diving in fully to, to experience this. Uh, so there's got to be some filters in place. Correct. And that's why you said you can get some outside help. Right. Uh, don't be afraid to go out and find someone that knows a lot more than you do about the whole <laughs> thing. Uh, this isn't uh, the Lone Ranger era anymore. We're out there looking for people who are experts in these kinds of fields that can do a much better job. It's not unlike um, perhaps in times past when you had one person in the office that was particularly talented to find airfare for you going someplace or, or places to stay or others that knew how to get around uh, different kinds of sites. So there always are sometimes are some inside office experts or people that have been at it longer than maybe you have as an owner or manager and other times you can just hire somebody. But it's not safe just to say, well, it's too complicated, I'm not going to no. delve into it. No, you can't afford to do that anymore. The, the world has changed. And uh, if you don't get into that type of uh, area, you're not going to uh, be able to be successful. Even in our own industry, uh, we hardly ever talk to students anymore. It's all somehow web related. Online. Uh, applications are online. All of the contacts are online. Emails are no longer even useful. We have to get more and more technical all the time with our students, prospective students. We have a lot of businesses that are turning to the cloud. I know there was a big push to get right. companies to go to the cloud. You've got a, a great analogy yeah. to help us understand what the cloud is and, and how to use it. Well, I was talking with some of my colleagues, and so it's not just me that is talking about this. But um, when I was a kid, I grew up in another country, and we had to store our, our energy. We had huge batteries, and we had a windmill that would, that would bring the energy into these batteries, and then at night we'd use the batteries for our electricity. And it lasted about four hours for the batteries that we had. But eventually, we were fortunate enough to plug into the local town's uh, power supply many, many years later. And the cloud is kind of the same way. We've started off with uh, having our own uh, uh, servers and, and those kinds of things, but now it's much more cost effective to go to a cloud and have the cloud take care of it. And, and there are experts there that will know how to deal with the various types of computers that you want to deal with. So it's not just one type of computer that you might have expertise with in-house. 
Biggest takeaway for folks, don't be scared of this. Get the expert right. advice you need, but you've got to be a part of it. Right. Dr. Ron Galloway, NNU, thanks so much for being with us today. My pleasure. And coming up next, we crack the veil and take a look at the importance of having a website. For the tech savvy, it might sound like a no-brainer, but keep in mind, about half of companies don't have a website. We're going to make the case to change that. You're watching Business at its Best, presented by Ataraxis. Welcome back to Business at its Best. Better Business Bureau, serving the Snake River region, helps people buy wisely and companies sell ethically. When you see BBB accredited business, you know a company has promised to uphold BBB's standards for trust. Take a look. There, to advertise honestly, tell the truth, be transparent, be responsive, safeguard privacy, and honor promises. While 97% of you take the time to check out a company online, nearly half of companies have no online presence whatsoever. That according to a Google survey this year. Lisa West owns Lisa B. Web Design and she joins us. Lisa, thanks so much for being with us thanks today. For me. So we're, we're spending this half hour talking about all things tech, technology and right. getting, getting businesses online. Tell us why you, why you started your business. Hmm. I actually started out as a software programmer a number of years ago and then I moved into wanting to do something creative so I got certified as a web designer and um, one of my first clients needed some custom programming so I moved back into the programming area so I do both. I've been doing it for 12 years. Uh, my main goal is to help small businesses get a presence online. So I'm glad you mentioned the small business aspect. During the break, you said you were not surprised by that 50% no. number that don't have a website. Right. What are some of the reasons you hear as you start to work with that small business as to why they haven't jumped off the cliff to get that website? Um, a lot of it is small businesses don't, want, don't have time. They're very busy running their own small business and to take the time to actually develop or work with someone to put a small business uh, website together is it, they seem overwhelmed by it. The whole thing seems overwhelming to them quite often. It's also cost. There's a cost and time factor are the two main things. So as we've heard already in the show with, with Dr. Galloway, when it comes to technology and, and the rapid change that we're experiencing, we're to a point where a business can't afford to ignore this Correct. anymore. So what are some of the things that you're sharing with, a, with that business and, and laying out a case why they need to get online? Um, one of the main reasons is that everybody is online looking for them. Um, their competitors are online already. Uh, if they haven't gotten on there, even if it's just a little one-page website, search engine wise they prefer more you know for rankings and things but even just to have something out there that has a contact information and a nice little face so people feel warm and fuzzy about them just your competitors are out there looking people are out there looking and they're going to find the competitors that they don't find the you. potential customers looking and oh yes that was the other side of this google survey 97 yes. percent of us are out there using the net to right. find the company and even if they look at the um, yellow pages first they're going to look they're looking for a website to go look at first or they're using their mobile device to look at they're looking online for you mobile yes that's a huge one for yes. businesses to consider as well yes. so as for the business now that that has the website and they're thinking this is well, I wonder if I'm really doing enough with the website right. uh, you brought us a checklist on things that a <laughs> business needs to be considering as they look at their website and I'll just let you go off with uh, start off with that and you say clean format number one what does that mean um, that means when you when someone visits your website you don't want to have things flashing at them you want it to have in a nice layout with lots of white space around your text not too much text people don't want to read forever and ever they won't take the time if your navigation is not clean and easy to find the information they want people are going to go look somewhere else you only have a few seconds to capture their attention and help them find the information they need. Which so. leads to the clear call to action. Yes, so you want to have on there exactly what you want them to do. Why are they at this website? What do you do? What should they do next? Should they call you? Should they put in email information and get a free report? Uh, should they um, do whatever that you okay. need them to do to go forward. So the clear call to action, then we're running out of time, so we'll combine these last two. It needs to be relevant, and you need to have SEO, or search engine optimization Correct. built in. The information on there needs to be relevant to um, your business. You need to have pictures and videos, things people like to look at, slideshows. Um, you also need to have search engine optimization. Your keywords need to be placed throughout your website. Your web developers should know how to do that. Very good. Lisa West, your website mm -hmm. is? 
lisabee.com. Very That's good. L-I-S-A-B-E-E.com. All right. Thank you so much yes. for that. Great information for Thanks. businesses out there. And coming up later on Business at Its Best, using new locations, uh, new location-based search technology to find trustworthy companies close to your house. First, if you have a website, have you considered how secure it is? A security expert joins us with some things you need to be thinking about. You are watching Business at Its Best, presented by Ataraxis. Welcome back to Business at Its Best. Ataraxis makes this program possible each week. The company takes care of the day-to-day -day work of HR, benefits, and payroll so a business owner can focus on growing the business. And we're spending this half hour making a case for business to spend some quality time assessing its use of technology. It can be a game changer for the positive. It can also pose some risks. So right now we're going to minimize that risk for you by being sure you're as secure as you can be online. Dan Thurber, the Chief Technology Officer for Digivice, joins us and uh, Digivice is also a client of Ataraxis yes. with, uh, with us today. So thank you so much. So Digivice is a web design company. Why did you start it with your wife? Um, well, we uh started Digivise uh, when we originally tried to create a website and we uh, now have morphed into a web security company and what sets Digivise apart is we are a security uh, company that mainly focuses on security and um, you know my passion started when I first set up a server years ago uh, and it was public facing and I, w and I within 15 minutes the server itself was infected with the virus. I had no idea why. And this I, was years ago. And I had, and I just was like, really? What happened? And, and I was perplexed for months. I had no idea why. Hmm. And now I know why, I know how. And it's, um, it's a real threat that people have to deal with every day. So you've really got a passion for the security side. Your website calls you the sheriff. <laughs> so, so we fast forward now to what's going on. And as Better Business Bureau, we're continually sounding the alarm about the scams out there. But you're seeing it firsthand. What types of threats do you see on a regular basis online? Uh, the type of threats that I'm seeing um, are a lot of exploits, uh, a lot of uh, tools that people have created to uh, gain access to servers inside uh, and be able to um, do uh, nefarious things to um, users while they're online. So I study the exploits, study the uh, what's going on kind of in, the, uh, in the, the black market to understand how to stop this and defend against this. And, and I've had a lot of success being able to stop a lot of attacks that would otherwise harm a lot of businesses. So you're right in the middle of this cat and mouse game uh, mm -hmm. and you're seeing it pl the race to stay safe. How significant are the threats to a small business? And, and I ask that question because I know so many small businesses say, well, I'm just a small business. It's just me and, and my wife. Nobody really wants to hack into my computer. Right. But how real is the risk? Well, it's actually opposite. The small business um, sector is the largest, most attacked uh, sector because most small businesses do not have the infrastructure and the money to be able to defend and set up properly from the beginning. They're and the easy target. Yes, they're the easy target and, and, it's, and that is the threat that is um, attacked most. So what are some of the things that a company should be doing to be as secure as possible? And, and that's probably one thing to keep in mind is there's, if somebody, if the bad guy sets their sights on you, it's pretty tough to be 100% impervious, mm -hmm. but what are some ways you can really reduce the risk? Uh, some of the best ways you can reduce the risk are making sure that you're updated with everything. Updates happen for a reason. I know the updates are annoying and you have to reset your computer sometimes, but they are there to protect you. So you're talking about software updates, mm -hmm. uh, the, the uh, antivirus updates, all mm -hmm. kinds of updates that are coming through. Yes, and also on the uh, website side, that you tell, typically will not see, That's, those do need updated too. You, a website and a server needs to be maintained itself. It just is not something you set up a website and it's done. You don't have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just there. It, it's not true at all. It has to be maintained. So we, we are going to maintain a good schedule to keep everything updated. Next on your list. And then also uh, another thing that you have to do is you have to look at the vulnerabilities that are at the at, that could cause issues with your server. And you have to go through and scan for those vulnerabilities to then to be able to defend against those. And being able to understand how it happens through those sort of uh, 
services is going to be able to provide you the um, best security. And I know for a lot of folks you say a professional is, is the best way to go to save save a lot of time mm -hmm. and uh, and frustration yes. in this highly technical uh, arena. Yep. Dan Thurber, the company is Digivize. People want to find you online, the mm -hmm. website? Digivize.com. And uh, very, uh, very good information for our companies today. Thank you so much for being with us. And coming up next on the show, we change gears and take a look at the latest technology connecting people with small businesses in Idaho. It's called location-based search. You are watching Business at Its Best, presented by Ataraxis. Welcome back to Business at Its Best. This is 30 minutes of television showing you ways Idaho companies are working to be better. Whether it's Rexburg, Jerome, or Caldwell, each company is working hard to attract and keep customers. Many are using new technology to do so. Better Business Bureau offers Locate Express. You click that Locate Express button at bbb.org. Then you let us know where you live, the service you need, and we're going to find the trustworthy business closest to you at that moment, and it's at that moment that's so important. Russ Eden owns Woodmasters, and Russ has used uh, Wood is a part of BBB, definitely on Locate Express. And thanks so much for being with us, Russ. Start out for the folks who who don't know why did you start? Why are you part of Woodmasters, and what do you do? Uh, we do renovations and um, new and old, uh, well remodels and new construction. And we're spending this time talking about how many people are going online to find a company. What are some of the things that you're doing to be found in that online environment to help your customers find you? I've tried many things. Um, the best thing, of course, is the BBB. Um, the, it's been a, a great asset bringing the Locate Express on. It's helped quite a bit. In the short time it's been uh, on, we've had, I think we've been awarded five of the jobs out of like 12. So. So, and we have not asked you to say any of this. In fact, we just had this conversation as you approached the set, wanted to be sure that everything had, had been running right. But locate, the location-based search is a brand new technology. I mean, it's, we're testing it in Idaho uh, and starting to look at taking it in other places in the country. But when we approached you about this, what made you des decide to, to try it out and test it with us? Well, basically it was um, the, the cost. Um, it's awesome. I mean, not only are the people smart enough to go to the BBB to look for a good uh, business with integrity, but unless they choose you, there's no fee. Okay. So that was the catch. I mean, the no if, cost if I can, aspect. Yep. If I can get the lead, um, if I get the lead and they choose you, it's worth the the fee to pay. And um, I know if I meet the customer, we're we've, we're already in the door. Okay, yeah, yeah it's, it's really the job's yours to lose. And, and for folks at home to understand how this works, you enter in your address and the, what you need. The, uh, the service provider, Russ in this case, has an app that sits on his phone that's basically reporting your location to a secure server. And that server then, when it gets a request from a homeowner, says, oh, Russ is within a mile. Exactly. We're gonna let the, the homeowner know. Your picture shows up on their computer screen and they can make a decision to go forward with you. So when you loaded this app on your smartphone, you received that first lead. What, what was the thought that went through your mind when you saw how it worked? I thought it was great. I think the, the idea and the concept are super. And I know being in the ground floors, um, they're working out the glitches and stuff, but it works great. I haven't had any issues every time I've been selected. Uh, their information comes up on the screen clear as day. I know what the job is before I even click accept or deny. So it's it's a really exceptional application. And the customers that you run into as you're going through this process, what's their reaction to finding you so quickly? It's a relief to them, to be mm -hmm. honest. The last one, the largest so far, I think, um, that has been one, uh, she was relieved. She had called others. They said they'd be there. They never even showed up wow. to even do the bid. And they've they found they found she found us and of course we're there when we say we're going to be there and and she's getting what she looked for all right russ edens and it's woodmasters llc thanks so much for being with us and congratulations on your good fortune with Locate Express and being a part of BBB. Thank well, Better Business Bureau has a number of resources to help people find the best companies in Idaho, and BBB helps companies sell ethically. You can find us online at bbb.org, also where you're going to find Locate Express, and you'll also find us on Facebook. Coming up next on Business at Its Best, getting that virus-infected computer fixed quickly, the steps you need to take. You're watching Business at Its Best, presented by Ataraxis. 
Welcome back to Business at Its Best. BBB produces this weekly show in Idaho to help you shop wisely and companies sell ethically. Before you buy, be sure to check out a business's reputation at BBB.org. We're on TV in great Idaho towns all along the Snake River Plain from Jackson Hole, Wyoming to Ontario, Oregon. Well, what if your computer gets a virus? The key is to act fast. We checked in with Mike Wallace, the computer guy of Idaho. Well, most people wait until there's a serious problem or they're having something they can't deal with anymore to bring it in. It's a good idea to do a, a general maintenance or, well, you know, uh, uh, preventative maintenance. So you know, if that need to be done should be done probably on a monthly or weekly, even weekly basis as far as some software maintenance. But there's a, there's a lot of different maintenance needs on systems. So, um, you know, we try to offer everything that's necessary. Mm -hmm. we, we always try to look at everything first before we give any sort of assurance or any kind of accuracy. Uh, because I think it's kind of impossible to give any kind of statement as to what is. You know, there's so many variants. There's so many different viruses and different levels of infection that we deal with all the time. And they're, they're always, always something new. You know, it's not too often that we see the same thing over and over again. You know, someone's got some sort of different system and it may hit it different. So the course of action that we take on it isn't generally the same for every case. It's not very common that each case is very similar to the next all kind of unique to themselves so um, once we take a look at things we're able to go over with the customer what our options are what we can do and so then from there we'll be able to provide them the best solution that's uh, cost wise for them and uh, you know best for for their needs as well uh, preventative maintenance you know if you keep on top of things you're less probable or less likely to get encounter some of the more common problems you know the, these are machines they require maintenance as well